Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Steve, and I'm going to show you a little something about a WeCan Liberty Light Bar. So this right here is a WeCan module, and basically, if you look here, that's where the USB plugs into. The other end plugs into a standard USB jack on your computer. And you go straight to Welland's website, you can download the WeCAD um, software programming stuff. And uh, basically, you get your, um, say you get a Liberty Light Bar. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be a Liberty, it can be a Freedom, anything that's WeCAN. And uh, basically, what you do is you go to WeCAD, and you build the light bar that's in your possession. Um, doesn't matter what color you select the light heads, but you build it there. And you, basically, you select Extract, and it turns it into, a, I believe it's a WBR file. Um, and you should save it right to your desktop so it's easy to find. And basically, when you're going to the WeCan programmer, it'll ask you to import your light bar. So you basically, it'll go and it'll find your WBR file. You grab the WBR file, whatever configuration you have it, you should name it in case you have several WeCan bars. You could have one for a truck that's 55 inches that you have flashing one way. You could have fleet cars. But it, it does make it very easy to program all of your light bars if you do have a fleet and make the flashing patterns and everything that they do standard so every officer knows what they do. Um, it, it makes it a lot easier. Um, everything that I'm going to show you that I did to program this light bar took me 18 minutes. And I put uh, 14 or 12 or 14 different functions and patterns on the light bar. So I'm going to hook this up. I'm going to put this down so you can see the bar. I'm going to try to anyways. Let's see. Grab one of my kids' Legos. Put it right here. Now the case is going to make this impossible. There we go. So there you go. You're looking down a Lego runway for the airport. <sighs> you wire your light bar up basically the same way you do with the older technology um, SX light bars. So basically you have a large cable that has your power in your ground. You run your power to your battery, 50 amp fuse at the battery. And then you run your power and your ground to your WeCam module up inside the dash. Um, so this was this is pattern one that I dropped in it. This is a CalSpec bar, so I did a lot of the patterns that I'm going to keep and put on my switch box. But some I just put in there for fun. So that's pattern one, and it gives you your two front steady burns and your uh, rear flashers. Then you touch your next wire. That gives you all my rear flashes and all that stuff. Touch your next wire. That's going to be an all bar. Okay. Basically, you just select your wire, you select your light heads, and what light heads you want to flash and how per each wire. Here's my alley. The next three would be alley takedown. Um, alley. Then this. So there you go. The whole front of the bar steady burns now. Even though before the same two heads were flashing. That you cannot do with a low current bar. Um, see what this one is. So there's two in boards. And that doesn't have the flashing takedowns. That's an inner in out pattern on the back. But say, just for fun, you want to make the thing kind of like an SX bar. So I set everything in the WeCam programmer. Oh, well, maybe I didn't use that wire. Let's see, we're gonna use this wire. All comet flash, unsync, alternate. So every pair of heads alternates just like an SX bar. But it's all running off of one wire. You don't have to tie six wires together into an output. And then in here somewhere, I have a cruise. 
Where? I don't know where I put it. So two steady burns in and out on the corners and the alleys. Pretty cool. that and then I did a cruise on this so the cruise mode maybe it didn't transfer I don't know maybe I didn't save it it's possible which is disappointing This one. Uh, maybe I missed it. Maybe I programmed over it with another flash pattern. That's always a possibility. Yeah, I programmed it over it, but I mean, you can set your cruise. You can select, you can make it your four corners. You can make it your inboard. You can make it the whole light bar. You can even set a cruise mode on your takedowns. And not only can you set cruise mode on any light heads that you want, but you can set whatever intensity you want from 27% to 100%. So you can make the entire bar glow full power um, for your cruise light, which would be obnoxious and people would hate you, but you could do it if you wanted to. I set it at about 60%. Because my kid uses it as a nightlight. Um, but, like I said, I mean, you've got this tiny little cable is your control cable. This cable. This cable here. That's your control cable compared to your power cable. So this is what you're running into the roof with this cable. Instead of Basically, this cable and a slightly fatter cable, now you're narrowing your hole. This wire, it's blue-gray, ties into the blue-gray on your module. And then basically, you just on the program, this, this wiring harness right here, you just set whatever you want the wires to be. Once you hook it up, there you go. So hopefully that breaks some of the myths that, you know, uh, I've seen a couple of comments on the board that, you know, weak hand is a pain in the neck and blah, 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 blah. Um, you can actually install the bar too straight out of the box. All you do is when you go into the um, We Can Programmer, you just select, you, you import your light bar and you select default. And when you select default, it basically makes it uh, SX bar. And, you know, you have a wire that is automatically dedicated for the rear, and then you can flash through the patterns if you want to. Then there's a wire dedicated for the front to add the front. Another wire dedicated to add your flashing alleys and takedowns. And then, obviously, take down alley, um, left alley, right alley, uh, left arrow, right arrow, center out. Um, and basically, all your standard low current functions. So, um, you know, if you're... Looking at a weak hand bar, you got a deal on a weak hand bar, um, but you're nervous because you're used to doing the direct wire with the SX. Do not be nervous. It is very, very easy. An idiot like me can do it. I've, I've programmed several duo light bars on a weak hand. Also, I mean, you now it's a little trial and error, you know, getting used to setting the cycles on the patterns and stuff like that. But hey, you know, you're going to spend. You know, over a thousand bucks on the light bar. I would hope that you're having fun. You know, programming the, the patterns and, and making it do exactly what you want it to do. Because it should. If you're going to spend over a thousand bucks on basically a toy, you know, you should make it do what you want it to do. And, um, you know, I was a huge... I'm still a fan of the uh, low current. But, I mean, this here is just... This is a whole step ahead, and, and it's not uh, serial control, so to speak. Um, it's it's far simpler than the uh, the serial control stuff like you saw with the uh, Wallen Ultra and some of the serial control liberties and freedom. So, 
Um, like always, if you ever, you know, have any questions, feel free to send me a PM. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Uh, take it easy. Bye.